Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel where I try to bring you a wide variety of computer operation and repair videos. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 11 onto your Toshiba computer. To do that, I'm gonna be using this Windows 11 install media USB that I created for myself for free on Microsoft's website. If you wanna see how you can create yours for free, check out this video link here. I'll take you through a step-by-step -step on how to do that. If you can't create yours for free, maybe you don't have a USB, maybe you you don't have another working computer that you can use in that case you'll have to purchase it when purchasing it make sure you get install media and not recovery media you cannot install windows with recovery media and a lot of sellers like on ebay and stuff they'll list it as install media when it's recovery media if you want any help on, on where you can get this check out the link here to my amazon store i'll show you a couple options of install media that will work for this operation now let's get into the project. Just as a reminder guys, check out the FAQs below in the description. If you have any questions, it may save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do get to those as often as possible. So now shut down your computer and I'll show you how to install Windows 11. Okay, now I put my Windows 11 install media USB into my USB port. I'm gonna hit the power button, immediately start tapping on F12. Some Toshibas will be F2. And if neither one of those work, try the other function keys as some models will use different keys. Okay, so this is what we're looking for here, your boot menu. Now, not all BIOS will look the same, not all boot menus will look the same, but you should still have the same options that you can find. So I'm gonna go down with my arrow key to USB memory, that's what I wanna boot off of. I'm gonna hit enter. And now the computer should continue booting up, but not from the hard drive, it should continue booting up from the USB. Okay, so this is the first screen we want to see in our install process. I'll walk you through the various options you're gonna see so you know what to expect. Just keep in mind, guys, that the, what you choose for your options may not necessarily be what I choose. Uh, choose the options that are right for you. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm fine with these. I'm gonna hit next, and then I'm gonna click on install now. And now the install process will start. One quick reminder guys, this process can be fairly long. Make sure your computer is plugged in and charging during this install process. If your computer is not plugged in and charging and the battery loses power and the computer shuts off during the install process, it could mess up your progress. You'll have to start all over again at best, um, possibly having to change some things in BIOS if things get too messed up. So make sure your computer is plugged in. I'm gonna go ahead here and accept the TNCs. I'll hit next. And now this is the first option where you guys, um, it, it's going to depend on what you're trying to do here. This first option, um, install windows and keep file settings and applications. That first option is going to be, again, if you want to keep all your files, you're not necessarily starting from scratch. You're just trying to install the new operating system over the old one. Um, this second option, custom install windows only advanced. That's where you're going to delete everything, all your files, all your data, all your settings. Um, I'm going to choose the second one because this is a computer that I'm getting ready for resale. So I don't want anything on it. But if you guys wanted to keep your data, you would choose this first option. So I'm going to go down here and choose the second option. And then again, because I'm deleting everything, I'm going to go through this list one partition at a time and delete them. Um, I don't want any partitions left. But if you were saving your data, you would not do that as this is where your data and your restore points are stored. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all these until I'm left with unallocated space. And this should roughly resemble the size of my hard drive. And then I go next, because that's where I wanna install Windows. And it starts installing. As you can see here guys, your computer may have to restart several times during the install process. That's okay. Let it restart um, just so you know this is normal. Okay, so here's the beginning of some more options to choose. At this point guys, I'm going to remove my USB from the computer because if my computer needs to restart from here on out to finish the install process, I don't want it seeing the install media USB accessing it again at startup and starting this process all over again. This took about 35 minutes to get here, um, so I don't want to lose all that time by it starting the install over again. So remove your USB. 
Uh, so to continue, I'm gonna leave this at that selection. I'm gonna hit yes. Uh, is this the right keyboard layout? I'm gonna select yes. Do I wanna add a second key out? I'm gonna hit skip. Now it's time to connect to a network. I'm gonna choose my Wi-Fi and hit connect. But I've connected to a Wi-Fi network. I'm gonna hit next down bottom. It's now asking me to name my device. I'm just gonna call it Toshiba. Hit next. I'm gonna select set up for personal use and hit next. And then this wants you to sign into your Microsoft account. You can sign in or you can create one. After signing into your Microsoft account, it'll continue. You can restore some device settings or you can just keep going forward next. This is where you would create a pin for your computer. Um, this is again up to you guys. I usually like turning all these things off. Um, I don't like sending my data out to people because I'm weird. So I turn all these things off. You guys can keep them on if you like. I hit accept. Uh, I skip this. I don't want to do any of this. Again, this is a refurb computer. I'm not interested in, in customizing a lot of things for user experience. So I'm just going to fast forward through all this. Skip. Not now. Decline, decline, and skip. So there we are, desktop Windows 11. This has been a successful install. All right guys, so there you go. That's how you install Windows 11 on your computer. Uh, keep in mind at this point, this is a new install of an operating system, which means it's gotta be updated. There's a lot of system updates, security updates, driver updates, a lot of updates that have to run in order to get this operating system running smooth and fast. If you don't run them right away, what's gonna happen is it's gonna be running in the background a little at a time for the next few days or weeks, slowing your computer down. Uh, check out this video here it'll show you how to get all those updates done right away right after the install so you don't have to worry about it for the next few days or weeks you can move on so i hope this video helped you out again check out the faqs below if you have a question leave me a question or comment if you have to I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least thank you so much for watching my video guys i look forward to seeing you on the next one